Welcome to a cocky level convo episode seven, and today I'm here with Ali Reza Majidi. How you doing today? I'm good. Thank you so much for in- inviting me here. For sure, for sure. Now, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a kind of uh, international student here. I just came here in the United States about since January. And uh, I'm from Iran, and uh, my major is biology, but I'm interested in writing. So they are not related at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, speaking of writing, you know, let's get right into it. Just came out with your first novel? It's my first completed novel. Yeah. Okay, okay. Three Faces of One Soul. Now, tell us a little bit about this. Tell us a, bit, a little bit about what inspired you to write this. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, uh, this story came to my mind about two years ago. Uh, when I, uh, I was uh, at my house, and there was a kind of COVID, so we couldn't go out. We, we didn't have fun. Uh, and I actually was kind of de- depressed. So I uh, just, I used to sit in my room, open my laptop, and... I started watching all of lots of movies, lots of movies. Uh, for example, even the French and Italian movies, uh, the old ones, uh, those from fifties or sixties, all of that. And uh, suddenly, I I don't know how this kind of uh, genre and character came to my mind. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a uh, it's a kind of dark genre mm-hmm. a noir genre which uh, is uh, representing my depression <laughs> of those times now i was really i was really able to like picture the mood picture the setting the the rainy the rainy days like you said in the in the story as well now where the main character leonard where did his inspiration where did his um um motivation to to in his gambling come from um, well, if you if you go to the very middle classes of the society in every kind of country, there are always some people who are devoting or dedicating their lives in a very in a kind of very uh, nonsense thing, mm-hmm. as you can see. For example, some people are gambling all the time, although they don't have enough money or they are they just lost all of their uh, opportunities. So why they are still gambling? Right. So these people actually exist in our world. And uh, I've seen lots of people uh, who are doing this. Uh, and I, I, I could imagine this kind of character. But I didn't want to be a very uh, hopeless person. He, at, at first, he had lots of hope to make a kind of living for himself so actually it is a kind of combination of my character too my own personal character yeah so Leonard is a kind of a more powerful of me yeah okay in, in the beginning of the story I don't want to give too much away but make sure you guys go check this book out I have actually finished it in like a couple of hours <laughs> so <laughs> it's a it's a really really good read um now, in the beginning of the story, you know, Leonard uh, going down the sinkhole and going back and forth, basically time traveling. Time traveling. I have a question. Okay, once he once he made a living in, well, the story for, uh, for, for the listeners, um, the story it starts in the 80s. Um, he goes in the sinkhole and he goes back to the 20s. Now, once he made a living in the 20s, why... My question, because me personally, if I went back and I made a, I made a good living, why would I come back? Well, uh, as you can see, all of those predictions were about to, were about to end. Mm-hmm. You talking about the gambling predictions? Yeah, though? all of the, those gambling predictions. So John wanted Leonard to do something. Actually, John had no idea at first. And John is uh, is uh, in just the for the twist. listeners. Uh, John, he is a kind of a very rich person, mm-hmm. a British rich person who has uh, come to the U.S. in the 20s mm-hmm. with his sister. And n- actually no one 
uh, has a kind of background information about this family, the right. Pickford family, John Pickford. So uh, he's a rich person and he wants uh, Leonard to do something to keep going in this kind of uh, pr process. Mm -hmm. So Leonard had to go back to the 80s and write down all of those predictions uh, after, for example, two years or uh, or a d decade after 20s. Okay. Now, I actually kind of relate to Leonard in a way, in the beginning, because he has, he basically had nothing, and to to find that opportunity when he went back to the 20s, he saw John, and he basically saw an opportunity through John. And so he basically risked it, risked it all to get to John, to get to the, I mean the, the place where he saw was wealth, a lot of wealth. Yeah. So I kind of relate to him because I would take a risk just to like put myself out there. So I kind of I relate to Leonard in that way. But <laughs> at some point it gets to like you know when I'm reading a story I'm like Leonard, you know, you're good now. <laughs> you got a family. You don't need to yeah, keep doing exactly, this. Exactly. So, so explain Leonard's reasoning on why he chose to keep working with John, um, mm -hmm. uh, gambling, and you know, kind of putting his family in danger at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, to answer uh, your your question, I should say why I put the name Three Faces of One Soul in my book. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I actually couldn't distinguish these three characters huh. Leonard, John and Amy and if you read again you can see that they, they are have something in common uh -huh. which is generated from me hmm. from one mind from one soul which is the writer right. and uh, so they are somehow connected to each other so for example Leonard cannot leave alone John mm -hmm. or Leonard cannot leave Amy, but at one point he lost both of them, mm -hmm. and he just gets sunk in the darkness of hopelessness mm -hmm. at the end. So uh, these are all connected. These all of uh, characters are connected to each other like a chain. Now I'm reading. We are all pretending to be another person. It's on the back of the book. Yeah. So is that what you meant by three faces of one soul? Exactly. Okay. Yes. It makes a lot of sense now. It makes a lot of sense. Now, tell us the process of creating this story, because uh, we were talking off air, and you said John wasn't even supposed to be a part of this story. Exactly. I, I was, I mean, uh, it, it just came to my mind for w one second. Uh -huh. I, was, uh, I wasn't thinking about John at all at first. The access of the story was just Leonard himself. Mm -hmm. He was the story all the time. But after uh, after thinking about being uh, just biased in one character, I said it's it's gonna be very boring. So I I, I had to put a very different uh, person from a different age, like in twenties, mm -hmm. and with a different accent, like a British accent called John into this story and uh, now I'm thinking about this uh, I I'm wondering how it came <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's that's still amazing though how you wasn't even thinking about John at first and then at some point you said oh, I'm gonna just add another character in there yeah. and he became probably the biggest or one of the biggest parts of exactly. the story and as you said is John your favorite character in the story? Yeah, my favorite character is John. Favorite character, John. <laughs> Although he's very bad, but my favorite <laughs> character is John. <laughs> I'll say, me personally, my favorite character, like I told you before, is Leonard. But I also yeah. relate to uh, John's assistant, who is uh, Jack in the story. Yeah. But um, another question I have of the story, I don't want to give too much of the story away, so you guys go check it out, Three Faces of One Soul. I um, mean, the Amazon Kindle. Yep, it's on Amazon, Amazon Kindle. Yes. Um... Okay, when Amy, how was Amy able to look through the sinkhole? Well, uh, maybe he, uh, she was chasing uh, Leonard because she okay. was suspected about him. Uh. So it, uh, I didn't mention about the process 
how she could find him because I wanted I wanted it to be a kind of surprise for Leonard mm, okay because I wanted the, the reader to just think about Leonard mm -hmm. and uh, just putting yourself in that situation that the police officers are coming for you and suddenly you are Amy is in front of you yeah in a sinkhole mm -hmm. and you are trying to make her quiet right not to say anything or not making any yeah noises. it's tough that's tough that's tough <laughs> man <laughs> that i'm not gonna lie that part of the story hurt me yeah hurt, right. just because yeah, it, it hurt me too <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> I mean, it probably, yeah, definitely, they, you're the writer, so. Because, <laughs> like, Amy, man, it's just John not telling Amy about their their father. Yeah, exactly. And then Amy always being, um, like, not seeing how they left her after the, uh, after the horse race and all that. Man, so how did you, how did you come up with the, with the driver? The driver, his son, and his wife. Um, How'd you come up for those characters? Well, it's a, it's a very kind of basic or common idea mm -hmm. in, well, in my opinion, in the other countries, that when you are thinking about the United States or the America, the Native American are some part of their minds. Mm. So John, as a, as a British person, and with all of his uh, bad properties in his character, uh, he chose his driver, a Native American person. And as you can uh, remember, he told Leonard, I, uh, I chose him because I want to remember who, uh, who they are or what kind of person they are. Mm -hmm. And he didn't actually like them. Right. He hated them. So th this is part of uh, his character, which is actually I didn't like it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so, yeah, it's a... Uh, and about his son, uh, yeah, that was very tough too. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you know, guys, please, please, please go check it out. Really, really good story. Um, are there? Is there going to be a sequel? Is there going to be another part, a second part of Three I, Faces of One Soul? I actually didn't think about it. You don't think about it? No, because I have nothing to add. It, you know, mm -hmm. or. No, actually, right now I'm writing another story. <laughs> okay, so okay, I just closed this, this case. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. How easy is it to transition to another story? Uh, you mean? Because I know a lot of people can they when they create something they can feel attached to it. So how is it? Um, not walking away, but taking, starting your another journey with your next story. Um, well. I always believe that when you're writing a story, mm -hmm. just write it. Just grab a pen and a piece of paper and write it down. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all you need. And don't think about anything else. Don't think about the side things, the disturbing things. Just think about the story itself. Right. I didn't have a, an academic knowledge in fiction writing or I'm, I've never been a kind of, in a kind of place that they, they were teaching me how to write a story or how to uh, create a character. Mm -hmm. It was all a uh, self-productive uh, thing, you know. So I believe every person can write his or her own story. Every person. Yeah. And every person has a unique story. It doesn't matter uh, where uh, where you're living or what kind of situation you're in or the other things when you when you want to write you will write it doesn't matter anymore. yeah that's that's amazing now uh were there any like difficulties or times where you're writing and you just like man i don't know if i can finish this At times you have writer's block talk about those times uh yeah, uh, as I said, uh, I was writing two other stories, which unfortunately I left them alone mm -hmm. because of many reasons. Uh, and uh, those were actually very amazing stories. 
and I am regretting reg- myself why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I didn't want uh, to happen this thing t- to my story right now, uh, and I finished it uh, with all costs. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's amazing because, like I told you before, people. We were talking about this in the spring where I was like, you know what, I want to I wanna come up with a story. And I was like asking you for advice. And you was like, yeah, do this, 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 and this, and this. And giving me good, good, uh, good pointers. And you said, yeah, I'm coming out with my own, my own, my own novel. And then I was like, really, really? And you were just, you were just working on translating at the time. Yeah. And to see it now is like, it's, like I told you, it's, it's amazing and inspirational because a lot of people, they just talk it. But they don't do it exactly, and they see you actually do it, and the, for the story to be amazing as well, it's like this is just a kudos. Thank you, thank you so much. How'd you come up with the design? Design? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I prefer not to talk about that. Oh. <laughs> I, I I really uh, didn't try to okay make a design. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mess with it though. I, 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 I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, but thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. Three Faces of One Soul, Ali Reza Majidi. Go check it out on Amazon. Kindle, paperback is 17. The hardback is 20, I believe. Yeah. But it's free to read on uh, Kindle, I think. Yeah, if you have the unlimited uh, access to the uh, Amazon, you can okay. you, you can read free almost all of the stories. Oh, that's what was that, Amazon but Prime. The, yeah, the ebook is uh, kind of 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, where can they check you out on social media? Yeah, it's a five six twelve, uh, Ali Reza. Okay, and make sure you guys go check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, Kage Level TV at Kage Level TV, K A G L V L T V. Make sure you guys go check out the YouTube channel Kage Level TV, where I have my other podcasts on there as well, some poetry skits and more content on there. I am going to start putting my stuff on Spotify now, uh, my podcast. Um, I think that's what I might do, transition over to Spotify, honestly, with the podcast. So, but thank you guys for checking this uh, latest episode of Akagi Level Convo out. Thank you, Ali, for stopping by today. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. And the story is truly, truly amazing. Three faces in one soul. Uh, Make sure you guys go check it out. Akagi Level Convo out.